Hi, I'm Keith Merrill with the River Club Project team, and I have with me Eric Long, our general manager. It's been a couple of weeks since we gave you an update on the progress of this facility, so I want to give you an update today. Well, the first thing is we finally got our permits to do the construction, both internal and external. It's been quite a process. It's taken a lot of effort by Eric and others, but we are ready to proceed forward, which is really great news. Well, based on that, Envirostruct has is, is assigned us a full-time superintendent. I'd like to introduce Mark Thomas. He's going to be with us for the duration of the project and yeah. managing the day-to-day -day operations. Well, phase one is to start the demo, and uh, we have started the dem dem demo of the facility, uh, picking out the old refrigerator, freezer, kitchen equipment, doors and walls that aren't required for the new project, uh, pavers, fire pits, everything outside in preparation to start construction. <clears throat> right, originally we had planned on having this project completed by the end of the year, but because of the delay of the permits, it looks like we're going to be delayed a couple months. So early, late February. But Mark's going to do everything he can to speed up the process, and uh, we're going to give a full court press to get it up and operating as soon as we can. Well, the good news, too, is that we're still within the budget. Even though we had a two-month delay in starting the project, it hasn't cost us any dollars. The committee, on the assumption we get the permits, because we knew we would eventually, we went ahead and secured contracts for the kitchen, the interior, tables, chairs, artwork, and so forth, the bar, and signed a contract with Virostruck ahead of time. So financially, we're in good shape. That's not an issue. The only issue is how fast can we build this place. And now I'm going to turn it over to Eric, who's going to talk about some operational issues. All right. Thank you, Mr. Merrill. Uh, hello, everyone in Pelican Sound. Have, hope you're having a great uh, summer, and uh, we're going to have some great things coming down the road. Uh, we have started on the building with, uh, Keith mentioned, uh, some of the demos. Some, so a lot of the electrical uh, fixtures that we're no longer using, those are being removed. And some of the existing walls that uh, are no longer needed for the new uh, build. Uh, so a lot of that's taking place as we speak. And then uh, we'll do some rehab of some certain things in the, in the near future. I do want to make you aware that there is a fence now in front of the river club and in front of the pool area where the fire pits are located. That is all uh, closed off at this point in time. That's all the uh, construction area. So uh, we will be starting to do some things in those specific areas. So access to the pool area, there's gonna be two different options. You can access, uh, typically, if you're over on the overflow parking area from the entrance of that area, but if you're coming up through the fitness center, uh, you'll have to go in through the fitness center uh, and then out through the restrooms to utilize going onto the pool deck uh, because this access will not be uh, granted at this point in time. Um, obviously, the construction zone is uh, hard hat only and only permitted for workers on this project. Uh, I do want to mention that uh, we are still working on the boardwalk. Uh, we are replacing all the uh, boards at this point in time. It's a beautiful uh, product. Uh, it definitely has a nice look. Uh, it's composite in material. So that's being done right now as we speak. Uh, they will start doing the entry of the uh, River Club and the Fitness Center. And that will start probably in another two weeks. And that will take place um, and they'll basically replace a board, take a board, replace a board, take a board. Uh, so it won't really impact uh, access into the fitness center. Uh, I also want to mention the uh, pavers on the pool deck. Based off the timeline that we have to be able to access that area, most likely the replacement of the pool deck will take place in December. Um, it most likely will take uh, several weeks, so probably at least three to four weeks. So please note that most likely in December, we'll have to have the uh, pool completely closed in order to uh, put all the papers uh, on the pool deck. And then just speaking on uh, access into the normal pool area, just based off of the timeline of what uh, Keith Merrill mentioned, we most likely will have some closures at least one week, if not two weeks in the months of October and November. 
and potentially uh, January as well. But uh, we'll keep you updated as that comes along. Obviously, we're going to have some steel and some other things coming through that pool deck that we're going to access. So, so please be aware that we may, may have some other closures in the months of October and November, but most likely it's not going to be more than a week uh, during those time frames. But uh, we're really excited about the project and really happy that we're moving forward. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be giving updates as things progress and uh, really having a great day.